Hey guys, welcome to the review here on Go Mango. No! As always, I'm your host, Sin to Blaze. Me today we have the Frozen Stratos, and we are bringing this review a little bit earlier than usual. Uh, we're almost at a decent time, but anyways, like not gonna lie, going through like 90% of this episode, I was like, this is neat, but have no idea how we're actually gonna be reviewing this. And if Corey didn't remind me, like probably 20 seconds ago, I probably would have just been like, man, this was a neat fan service episode that kind of dropped a massive... I... This is from my perspective, because I have a lot of bad memory from like the beginning and the end of the episode. I think like the middle was just like a lot of like fluff, kind of like cute character moments, but sure. nothing like too special. But... It was a very enjoyable episode overall. Uh, I just thought that them kind of developing the relationship between Yume and Yomogi kind of was... It felt like it was really easy. I think when we're watching, like, Gridman and watching the protagonist from that kind of, like... Not, like, fight, because he wasn't, like, really aggressive about it, but he was <laughs> he was really struggling <laughs> to win over the, the affections of the chick there. But it seems to be going a little bit more smoothly here. I don't know if he was really trying that hard after a while, because like slowly, in the original in the original one, he was slowly realizing, oh shoot, oh wait, this is spoilers by the way for that one. Oh shoot, I'm Gridman. This is not. I'm not human. This is not what I should be doing. Um. So and you know he's steadily not becoming, you know, not socializing in the same way that we would consider that. Um. But. For this instance, I the first thing I wanted to address, I don't know that I would call this a fan servicey episode. It wasn't I mean, you you watch plenty more anim a, a lot more anime than I do. I just did not find the same amount of gratuity here. Um and I was happy with that. Like uh I wasn't even expecting going into this, I wasn't even expecting like a fan service stuff and you know, we had plenty of fun antics uh, of of Galma trying to kill a dude <laughs> at a water park. Um, and also, I, I sent you this video comparison today, but the lifeguard there was actually modeled after and potentially voiced by the original Rid Man. Uh, so that was really cool. Or, you know, the original kid that... Um, use the access flash thing um yeah it, uh i i thought it was just fun and nice to see them at least yomogi slowly falling for her but then like you know it's not really taking for her because she's dealing with um you know her sister um, and everything is basically coming to a head with that because we got we got the slow reveal throughout the episode. Like, okay, she has um, really tough visions of water uh, and seeing her sister, yeah, a, a dead body there. Um, and that leading into, you know, it, it made her timid, but then ultimately they they came together, had the fight, all that stuff. And at the end, you saw her getting more comfortable uh, with everybody and um, I, I would say almost seemingly jumping into the water until she's snapped back to reality with the person she was co in contact with before about her sister and then the bomb drops. Uh, so I feel like potentially juxtaposing those two things it it's really i don't know her coming out of her shell is very at odds with um her trying to deal with her sister but it's really awesome that she is able to go through these um and we're getting to witness that visually um i don't know, I, I thought it was a very effective episode yeah like there's definitely still like a lot more going on um but like the water stuff especially it makes me feel like Yume knows a little bit more about what happened than she's kind of, like, really showing to the audience. Because, sure. like, that water image before, we didn't, like, really get, like, 
too much of what she knew right beforehand. Mm-hmm. Like, I think, like, all these, like, memories are going to be, like, digging into, like, like, her memories and just, like, kind of, like, seeing it from a different angle and, like, actually realizing, oh, like, so this is what was going on with my sister and stuff like that. Because I think at the mm-hmm. beginning of the episode, um, she finds out that, you know, like, her sister was, like, a really social, you know, butterfly over in the, the choir. You know, like, everyone, like, loved her. She was talking to everyone. Mm-hmm. But, like, she didn't really, like, like she was so surprised when she heard that so like obviously she's she knows like a different side of her sister like entirely so her kind of like putting together like what's actually happening from like her perspective as a child and like her perspective Mm -hmm. now it it's real interesting and i think by keeping that mystery along for the next couple of episodes is going to be really good and kind of like tying the series together Mm -hmm. and i think um like, uh, that was probably, like, the strongest point of this episode. I think it's, sure. like, the main one kind of, like, holding it together. Because, like, otherwise, like, our our villains also took... Or our antagonists took the week off. Because they're just kind of, like, palling around with them. Yeah. Um, I like, mean, obviously, I... they got, like, summon a kaiju and just kind of, like, you know, mm-hmm. mess them a little bit. But it didn't feel like it was that bad. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I... It's also interesting to have this, uh, to like, for for our antagonist to to try to develop a relationship with the protagonists in this way, just to figure them out. It's not a bunch of you know like uh, uh, miscommunications and then like disagreements and all that stuff. No, I mean like they can they can have their fights, but they can amicably amicably speak to each other. Um, and I I really wonder if if that's going to, um, obviously it's, you know, a studio trigger thing, it'll probably lead somewhere meaningful, but it's also like an interesting shaking up of a typical formula, you know, they yeah. typically always be at odds and this, this stuff would, you know, speaking, uh, person to person would be a, a rare thing. Um, yeah. and also it, it, I find it interesting that along with you may discovering her past, uh, or at least reconnecting with it, or maybe even, finding or rediscovering uh, repressed memories potentially if it's framed that way or not uh, i'm not sure but you know working on her past uh as well as the um the bowl cut dude um sort of re- you know we are we are diving into his past and he seems like a person who um has way more knowledge of his traumas than yume does uh, and we get to see that effect on him and that effect on his social socialization. Um, so that's interesting to see. Um, and I do wonder, you know, you don't you don't make these characters so interconnected without having a purpose. So I can't wait to see what else the uh, the store manager has. Um, so yeah. yeah. He's, he's got to have a dark past, but I think we talked about that, like, in the prior episode when they're setting yeah. this up, yeah. and they really wanted to see, like, they really wanted to, like, set up the the romance just to kind of, like, juxtapose it with, like, something else, because we might have her, Yume's sister's romances, like, also maybe come up, because, like, we are, we are going to be delving into her high school life, I'm assuming, eventually, and that'll mm-hmm. probably tie in with, um, you know, the Bulka dude, and the store manager so i wonder she i mean from day one we saw her at a very dangerous height yeah right i so this might get dark but they've introduced suicide as a plot point here yeah i wonder if she might want to attempt that as well and that's why she keeps inviting people to potentially find her like she found her sister in that way and that's why and then she gets cold feet and then eventually the dudes leave right and now when someone called her out on it now she sort of wants to discover what the impetus behind her sister's was and reevaluate why she might want to do that i mean that 
that is a potential reading of, of the text. I don't, I don't know. What what are your thoughts on that? Like, I, uh, you know, I think it's I think I like I talked about this before, but she kind of wanted emulated like what her sister did to her like all those years ago by yeah. setting up a meeting and then just like sure. abandoning her and sure. kind of seeing how it felt from that perspective. But, you know, like from her being at that like high post and maybe trying to like copy what her sister did, like at that specific part, like maybe trying to see like how other people would react to seeing her all the way up there and, you know, maybe get some inspiration on like how they could save her or something like that. Yeah. Like something that she could have done in that situation situation she was when her sister maybe like jumped sure so yeah interesting so the you know the imagery we found before might go deeper than what we may have initially seen yeah you know, and, we'll, and we'll see if she know, like opens like. up about it because she's still like very bottled up yeah concerning like the the trauma aspect of it mm-hmm. like Yoma, he's just kind of like palling around just for like the ride and but it doesn't feel like she's like actually kind of like opening up a significant amount which isn't necessary i mean like come on (laughs) given what we're dealing with here and you know yamogi uh he has an interesting relationships relationship with relationships in general because like we already know he comes from a home where uh his father is not there and he's dealing with and you know we know he's not dealing with well um the his mother's uh, relationship yeah his mother's relationship so um we see him discovering what it means to potentially like someone love someone and want to be in a relationship and that potentially is what he's working on um so yeah. that's neat. Yeah. Man, this review got darker than expected. Uh, do you have any other thoughts for this episode before we sign off here? No, I think I'm good. All right. Well, that's a good place to stop. Um, that's it from us. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, check out description down below. There's stuff down there. You know where it is. Um, yeah, that's it from us. Keep it juicy. <laughs> And if I you don't, like, oh, go uh, ahead. I always like talking these episodes through because, like, I make connections that I otherwise wouldn't have if I did not, like, you know, reflect on the text. Yeah, for me, I think I have to 